welcome, child, to my enchanted glade. I am Grandmother Willow, and I am going to tell you the story of Pocahontas. My good friend, Flit, will help me explain how to play along. If you'd like to play along with the story, click here. Pocahontas lived in a village along the banks of a beautiful river in the part of America now known as Virginia. Her father, Chief Powhatan, returned one day from a long journey. My daughter. Hello, father. We have much to talk about. Oh, here we go. Coquam is our bravest warrior. He has the strength of a bear. Here you go, Miko. The Great Hair. Wingopple, welcome to our village. We use the bow and arrow to protect our village and provide food for the people. We play this game to improve our skill. Our goal is to shoot the hoops when you see them appear. To improve your skill, first click on the archer, the one who is holding the bow and arrow. You can now move the archer and aim the bow at the hoops when they appear. Next, when you think your aim is true, Click again to shoot the arrow at the hoop. As you practice, your aim becomes true.
Very good. You can try again. Such skill. Take aim and shoot again. With practice, your aim will get better. Your skill is great. Shoot again! As you practice, your aim becomes true. Goodbye, Anna. The hoops will rest until you return. Kokwam has asked to seek your hand in marriage. He will make a fine husband. Marry Kokwam? But he's so... serious. This is the right path for you. Pocahontas felt confused. Was marrying Kokwam really the right path? She came to my glade with her friends Miko and Flit to ask my advice. All around you are spirits, child. They live in the earth, the water, the sky. If you listen, they will guide you. What is the right path for me? Welcome to my favorite berry patch. Miko and Flit like to help me pick berries to take back to my village, but Miko would rather stay here and eat them. Help Flit catch the berries with his beak and hide them from that munching Miko. To begin, click on Flit. When Miko tosses a berry into the air, Flit will follow you to the berry. Then, click on the berry before Miko eats it, and Flit will catch it with his beak. Good catch! 
cat. You did it. You're doing so well. I know you and Flick can do it. See you later. Listen with your heart, you will understand. I hear the wind. It's saying something's coming. One day, a ship from England sailed into our river. Among the men on board was the greedy Governor Ratcliffe, who came in search of gold. I hereby claim this land for England, and all its riches for me. And now, Thomas, get to work. John Smith came in search of adventure. I've been looking for a place like this all my life. You filthy bird! Oh, who turned out the lights? Whoa! Let me at all that gold! <laughs> I'm going to get a pile of gold and build me a big house. Biscuits! Easy, got it. Careful! That's got it. Ready for another load. There we go. If there are any Indians out there, I'll find them. Percy, you're a good little duck. You filthy bird! Greetings! Miko, that rascally raccoon, is having a grand time exploring the deck of our ship, the Susan Constant. Percy, of course, would rather he didn't. Miko loves to make a game of it by hiding in the most unusual places. Now it's up to you to help Percy find him. Percy would be ever so grateful if you could help him find Miko. Click wherever you think Miko might be hiding. We simply can't have him running willy nilly around our ship now, can we? If you do find Mika, just remember that he's off to another hiding place. So, keep looking. Keep looking. You're sure to find him. 
Oh, do try another spot. <coughs> Keep it up. That scallywag's around here somewhere. <coughs> Keep looking. Mika's around here somewhere. <laughs> oh, he's gotten away again. Do try another spot. Well, where is that rascally raccoon? Do try again. Ta-ta! Miko is still hiding, so do come back again. If there are any Indians out there, I'll find them. You filthy bird! Hello, you're a strange looking fella. Hey! Soon everyone knew that strangers had arrived. Chief Powhatan asked his medicine man, Kikata, to tell him more about the visitors. These are not men like us, but strange beasts. They stalk the earth like hungry wolves. large could only come from the great waters. Let us hope they do not intend to stay. Our warriors can defeat them. We will defeat them! Let's fight the strangers them. are savages! Stop the earth like wolves. <coughs> oh. 
Let us hope they do not intend to stay. We will observe these visitors until we know their ways. The visitors stayed and began building the settlement of Jamestown. John Smith explored our green forests. Pocahontas was curious about this handsome stranger and followed him to the waterfall. No, wait! Who are you? Madakwe, Naduras. Listen with your heart. You will understand. My name is Pocahontas. I'm John Smith. Fox. Asim West. Hey, little fella. Dear. Unta Pahantan. Pine tree. Anusa. Water. Sakwam. The visitors stayed and began building the settlement of Jamestown. Butterfly. Managuas. It's just a handshake. It's how we say hello. This is how we say hello. Wingapo. Sky. Aroko. We'll show your people how to use this land properly. How can there be so much that you don't know? Wait! Pocahontas and John Smith each saw the world differently. The settlers wanted to change the land. Pocahontas and her people knew it was important to share it with all living things. We'll cut down these trees, build roads and decent houses. But to us, every creature, rock and tree has a life, a spirit and a name. You must learn to paint with all the colors of the wind.
Pocahontas, you've helped me see and understand. You must learn to paint with all the colors of the wind. Welcome to our forest. We share this forest with many animals. We can hear their voices, but we cannot always see where they live, unless we listen with our hearts. To find the animals that you see along the side of the forest, you must first hear them. Click on the drawing of an animal to hear its voice. Then, find a place in the forest where you think the animal lives, and click there. The Chirping Cricket We call the cricket Glitchatu Lika. The swimming fish. Namamis is what we call the fish. The buzzing bee. Amon is what we call the bee. The croaking frog. We call the frog Chiquis. The happy songbird. Our name for the songbird is the ship. You have mastered the call of the animals. There are many animals living in the forest. Click here to find others. Listen with your heart, and you will find what you seek. This animal hides very well. Keep looking. Listen with your heart. You must look with the eyes of an eagle. The Swimming Fish Namamis is what we call the fish. I can hear the sound of one of the forest animals, but it is not the one you are looking for. Keep trying. Goodbye, Anna. Your friends, the animals, will await your return. The drums. They mean trouble. Please, don't leave. 
I have to go. Chief Powhatan sent his warriors to watch the settlers. What they saw upset them. Ratcliffe had ordered his men to dig up the land. Any gold yet? Nothing but rocks and dirt, sir. Dispose of this. Hey! Watch your step, Percy. I should be filthy rich by now. Dispose of this. Ratcliffe panicked, and the settlers shot at the warriors, hurting one of Cocoam's friends. Chief Powhatan thought that the settlers wanted to fight. Both sides prepared for war. Let's try talking to them. They do not want to talk. Savages! We'll fight them! They're not savages. They can help us. If one of them did want to talk, you would listen to him, wouldn't you? Nothing is that simple anymore. Savages! Savages! We'll get them! We've got our gold! But there is no gold. Lies! Lies! All of it! They're not savages. They can help us. We will 
Destroy, destroy them! Damages! Ratcliffe panicked. If one of them did want to talk, you would listen to him, wouldn't you? Nothing is that simple anymore. We don't have to fight them. There must be a better path. Sometimes our paths are chosen for us. We have to try talking to them. Thomas, follow him. Pocahontas and John Smith found each other in my glade. They did not know they had been followed. See? Once two sides want to fight, nothing can stop them. Maybe it's not too late to stop this. Hello, John Smith. Come closer, John Smith. What? Don't be afraid. It's Grandmother Willow. What do you say to a tree? Oh! It's that bird again. Flit! Only when the fighting stops can you be together. Look out, John! Kokuum! Thinking Kokuum was going to hurt John Smith, Thomas shot Kokuum. Chief Powhatan's warriors blamed Smith for Kokuum's death and captured Smith. Thomas ran for help. They're going to kill him at sunrise, Grandmother Willow. You have to stop them. You know your path, child. Now follow it. Pocahontas ran to stop her people from hurting John Smith. Ratcliffe and the settlers had already gathered, ready to go to war. Father, stop! This is where the path of hate has brought us. If you harm him, many more people will die. My daughter speaks with a wisdom beyond her years. From this day forward, if there is to be more killing, it will not start with me. Release him! Chief Powhatan's words were understood by all the people gathered except one. Radcliffe fired his gun at Powhatan, but John Smith stepped between them and was hit instead. Radcliffe was sent to England in chains. John Smith also had to return to England so his wounds could heal. Pocahontas and Chief Powhatan came to say goodbye. 
Pocahontas, come to England with me. My place is here, with my people. See you, Percy. You are always welcome among our people. It's from Grandmother Willow's bark. It'll help with the pain. Here you go, Mika. How dare you! And I thought you didn't like strangers. But I can't leave you. You never will. No matter what happens, I'll always be with you. Forever. Pocahontas remembered John Smith for the rest of her life. The peace that Pocahontas brought between her people and the English settlers lasted for many years. Well, child, that was the story of Pocahontas and John Smith. Now, what would you like to do next? Well, child, are you sure our visit is over? Yes? I hope you will visit with me and my friends again very soon. Anna, goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.